Hey, it's Mike from Arnold Tutoring. I wanted to do a quick overview of the different grade 12 math classes that are available in Ontario, give you an idea of what to expect in those courses if you've chosen them, or if you're still a little bit up in the air, give you a rough idea of you know, what goes on in each course, what you might be building off of in your previous math education, and maybe if you are looking to go to college or university, how these might come in handy. So the, the first most commonly taken course in grade 12 is advanced functions. That's going to build, be building on a lot of the grade 11 functions class, um, talking about things like polynomials, uh, rational functions, trig functions, everybody's favorite, trigonometry. Uh, you go a little bit deeper in trigonometry, learn about things like radians and how to measure angles in different ways. Um, you've also got logarithms and exponentials. Those are the other main types of functions that are seen in advanced functions. Lots of those you would have seen in grade 11, it's just building uh, at a little bit more advanced level, hence the name of the course. That will help you going into university as well, um, because you're just going to get more comfortable with everything to do with functions, x's and y's. Um, but it's not quite as high level as calculus and vectors. If you're going into any major university program, especially like business or science or something like that, you can be looking at taking a first year, or maybe even a second year calculus course in university. And so calculus and vectors at the grade 12 level really helps you prepare for that. You're gonna look at things like limits, derivatives, uh, applications of the derivative, and then you're going to move on to vectors, which is a smaller part of the course. Calculus is definitely the main part um, and the most applicable going forward in university. But vectors, you're going to do things like word problems, um, cross and dot product, and applications. The concept of vectors is actually quite simple, um, but some of the word problems can get a little bit more complex, so people do often have uh, difficulty with vectors, even though many people would call it sort of the easy type. Calculus, again, is your most important going forward into university, where you'll not only do more advanced derivatives, but you'll move into integral calculus, and potentially even beyond that if you're looking at more of a math or science major. The last one, um, and probably the least common sometimes, is data management. And it's often overlooked because many people just say, oh, I'm taking data management, that's the easy math, especially if they struggle in, say, grade 11 functions. The problem is, though, that data management is actually very just completely different. It's not like it's an easier version of advanced functions. The topics are way, way different. So you've got, um, you know, it starts with descriptive t statistics. And if you're trying to relate this to a first year university course, it really is statistics one. Um, so descriptive statistics, that might be something that you know from way earlier in your education, like mean, median, mode, how to sort of talk about a set of data, um, you know, range, the range of the data, the interquartile range, percentiles, things like that. Uh, and then you're going to get into more um, distributions. different ways of doing tables and charts, and then inferential statistics, inferential stats. And what's that, what that means is you're doing things like hypothesis testing, taking a set of da data and saying, okay, well, if this is the data for a sample, what can we tell about a whole population? Think things like polling stations uh, for um, political votes or you know, taking a small, small sample size from, say, a university on grade point average and trying to come up with or inferring something about the overall population. So that's a quick sort of outline of the three major courses. Again, key takeaways, I wouldn't overlook data management. Often students really struggle with that because it is just a completely new way of thinking. It's not on the x, y function side of things. Um, if you are looking at taking calculus, in university, I definitely recommend trying to take a shot at the Calculus and Vectors course in grade 12 so that you're not seeing everything for the first time in a 300-person lecture theater in university. Thanks!